The Death Star plans we could not find herein, nor are they on the main computer, Lord. In short, they are not here, and there's an end. Thou speakest well, my Stormtrooper, and yet not well upon my ear the message falls. I turn to thee, thou rebel. I, I lift thy head above my own. Thou canst now choose to keep thy secrets locked safe in that head, and therefore lose the life thou holdest dear, or else to keep thy head and thus thy life. Thy patience runneth quickly out, much like the sands across the dunes of Tatooine. So tell me, else thou diest quick. Where shall we find transmissions thou didst intercept? What hast thou done, say, with those plans? My lord, my head and life I value, certain tis. And yet to thee I must report we have not intercepted one transmission. Ah, this is a consulship and nothing more on diplomatic mission. Ah. Thou knave, with thy last breath hear thou this word. If this is but a consulship, then where is the ambassador? <laughs> Commander Prithee, go. Rend thou this ship apart until the plans are found and bring me any passengers. Upon thy life I want them brought alive. And so another dies by my own hand, this hand which now encased in blackness is. Oh, that the fingers of this wretched hand had not the pain of suffering ever known. But now my path is joined unto the dark, and wicked men whose hands and fingers move to crush their foes are now my company. So shall my fingers ever undertake to do more evil, a, eh? And this, my hand, shall do the Emperor's bidding evermore. And thus we see how fingers presage death, and hands become the instruments of fate. Aye, there is one. My comrade set for stun. She shall be well. Go now, inform the dread Lord Vader we have caught a prisoner. And Maymore's icely drinks flow swift and free when Vader grants rewards for work well done. Hold, thou art not permitted to go in. Deactivated thou shalt surely be. Beep, 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 beep. Thou shalt not label me a mindless brute philosopher. Nay, nay, thou overladen glob of grease. Thou imp. Thou rubbish bucket fit for scrap. Thou blue and silver pile of bantha dung. Now come and get thee hence away, lest someone sees. Beep, 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 wee. Beep, 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 wee. What secret mission, and what plans, what dost thou talk about? I'll surely not get in. I warrant I'll regret this, so say I. This golden droid has been a friend, tis true, and yet I wish to still his prating tongue. An imp he calleth me? I'll be revenged, and merry pranks aplenty I shall play upon this pompous droid C-3PO. Yet not in language shall my pranks be done. Around both humans and the droids, I must be seen to make such errant beeps and squeaks that they shall think me simple. Truly though, although it sounds oblique I speak to them, I clearly see how I shall play my part and how a vast rebellion shall succeed by wit and wisdom of a simple droid. Now play the metal pair into the pod which shooteth from the ship like laser blast. And to the planet's face as straight as rod, the capsule takes the droids by power vast. Thirst raise another one. Pray, hold thy fire, for certain there are no life forms aboard. And truly, what may be the chance that aught but life alone could fly within that pod? The rebels could not be so cunning bold to put the Death Star plans therein. If I were one to bet, I'd stake my life on it. All's well that endeth well, so say the wise. And so that pod shall live to land below. Tis but a jest. I surely we are mocked. For all to dee to, plainly canst thou see the damage looks but minor from below. Can thou be sure this pod is safe? Beep! Oh, 